All right, as a bonus, here's part four. Now, we're gonna work on box jumps and trying to look at injury prevention for these because this adds impact. And so the impact's happening in the gym, not just outside running and playing sports. So this is where you've really got to work on making sure your knee alignment is correct. Because again, you won't see the hip alignment just like in a squat. But if your knee's rolling in on the squat, guess what's going to happen when you do a box jump? There's no way you're going to control it. So for Claire, what I also want you to see is what happens when she takes off. Because some people don't see this. They focus on the landing and their knees are out. And that's more important. You know, it's more important that your knees are in line when you're impacting and landing on the box. But when you're taking off, some people's knees roll in as well. And that's what I want you to try and correct as well. So if you watch Claire, when she jumps off, can you see how those knees rolled in? All right, so she needs to work on, some person like her needs to work on keeping those knees out when she jumps off. Now, sometimes that's a strength issue. Sometimes it's a motor pattern and it's a repetitive thing that she needs to perfect over a long period of time because that's the way she's always done it. All right? But if that is happening and you're getting mechanical knee pain, that's something that needs to be corrected. But the landing is more important. So what I don't want to see is when she jumps and lands in the box that both or one knee rolls and stays out, you know, it doesn't stay in a line with her feet. So let's try that one again. So if she rolls and does that, that may not hurt and may not hurt after 20, and may not hurt after three days, but after six weeks of doing that, that's where we have people coming into the clinic saying, I've got sore knees, I've been at the gym. And we have to nail it down to what is the problem, okay? And oh, I've been doing box jumps, and oh, let's have a look at that. So you guys can start doing some injury prevention before you even get to the physio by seeing those problems. Now, if you can't correct that, if you can't land and have your knees out, like if you can, great, that's gonna prevent you from getting injured. But if you can't correct that, it's probably a hip strength issue and a motor control issue, and especially if it happens on a squat anyway, and it's something that I recommend you go to the physio and get the exercises done to try and improve that over a long period of time before you end up getting injured down the track with sport, exercise, gym classes, that sort of thing that's coming up. So real important take home message for you for that. Keep that knee in a line, watch all those things, your squat, your lunges, your step ups, and your box jumps. See you next time.